Geek Ronin in the house. Get your katanas ready. And all you old dragons of the black motherfuckers too. Let's start a samurai back here with another a quick episode here on Tiddledating Tuesday. <clears throat> Whatever. Anyways, we got a little bit more uh, Destiny here after we did the last video. It's being uploaded right now. Uh, basically, we found a whole bunch of sweet loot. We took it out and decided to see what it could do. Now, this is a quick little look at the gun Bad Seed Down. Uh, as well as a place called Fort. Knox. Now we'll call it Fort Knox here in the crew so we can just quickly reference it. We give nicknames to a lot of the things in a lot of the games. And that also lets our team know things like, hey, we're playing Battlefield, Call of Duty, GTA, Daisy, Destiny, doesn't matter. Even if people can hear us or are watching the show, the intel is, is coded to something similar like that. Um, Fort Knox is on okay, Mars and it's trouble. a space that we like to go to because you're going to see here you get anywhere from five to six to eight chests in one little area. It's pretty easy, you know, it's not super hard. It's got lots of great leveled creatures to fight Cabal. Here we go, Bad Seed Dan. Now this is a Vanguard reward, uh, probably purchasable as well. So yes, my legendary and only legendary main class gun, uh, except for a pistol. It's funny, I keep finding legendaries in that class, but I'm not finding the one I want. I don't want, preferably, to have my go-to gun be a Vanguard, a Future War Cult, or any of those other things. I want it to be a gun that has to be found, or is in a store at random and you can buy it, uh, maybe. But you know what I mean? I don't want it to be the stock Vanguard, Future War Cult, uh, any of them. Um, but this game's too new. We really have to say five years from now, if we're still playing the game and it's still doing it what it's promised and we could do, then you know we're going to be talking hundreds of exotics and thousands of legendaries, hopefully, and you know, multitude of thousands of rares, and you know, people won't even they'll be like, oh man, you're wearing that that exotic helmet that was like the second exotic one they ever put out wow you know things you see with world of warcraft and long-term games now if unfortunately bungie does just cram out destiny 2 in like three or four years they're like oh shit well let's just make it purely for the ps4 we don't have to dumb it down to the ps3 or whatever then maybe that will be lost you know, if we can't take this if i can't take my character and his gear throughout my entire destiny adventures then this game falls short of an mmo and it's just another like you know shoot shooter like halo and you know i th if they really want to make sure that they capture what they said what they promised pull it off right they need to give us five years of hard committed giving and they need to give more for free and if really three stories, one strike, one raid is all I'm getting for 20 bucks, I'm a little disappointed, you know. I don't want to have to pay for uh, everything. They need to follow suit with Grand Theft Auto. Um, they need to break tradition as well and be like, hey, we're going to give you a multitude of new stuff as well as a multitude of stuff in the DLC of the box. So, you know, always new, always new, always more. I was very disappointed with the upcoming Dark Below DLC to hear of what there's, what we actually are getting. I was really hoping to see five, at least five to six, a whole new, I wanted to see a whole new city. I wanted to go to a different place on Earth. Like, you know, the, the future version. I know it would, you know, there, the human race is all trapped in that one city and stuff like that but you know i want to go past the cosmodrome i want to go to san francisco and new york and london istanbul and all these places around the world and i would like to see one of those per dlc that you have to pay for hey it's, a, it's an update it's an expansion pack season pass purchase freebie okay give us a little less it's free you know or give us a little more we paid for it but um, I don't think we're going to get that. And I, you know, th that's the thing. It's a $20 DLC. 15 if you have the pass. Uh, here, really quick, I'm at Fort Knox. You'll see more of the outside. Uh, there's the first treasure chest. Now there's, uh, about 17 possible chests you can get here. And I've pulled at least 10 out. So, um, you know, it's, it's possible. Um, basically you're just going to run around. You got a lot of, like I said, leveled at Cabal. 
We've got green tag missions. We want to pick some of those up. And I'm just doing this, you know, kind of testing out the new gun. It's taking out like level like 17 centurions. Uh, it's do it's pretty good. I don't like the pulse rifle. I, I like the full auto, but you know, it's about adding it to your armory. It's not, oh, it's going to be my, my sole armory. Um, <clears throat> I'm even going to show you guys a few places, including the hidden ghost and quite a few uh, places. People don't look for chests that we've seen them. Uh, we might not find some of them there today, but so as you can see, you just do the wall here. You do the front pass, you do the wall. What's really good about this place is it's so big that you can actually lap it. And by the time you start to lap it, the creatures respawn. By the time you start doing two laps, the chests start to respawn. So you can really just sit here and run around in circles grinding and grinding. And if you're lucky enough to pick up a kill enemy mission or kill enemy dropping something mission that has to do with Cabal, you can kill out those here too. And you can spend, you know, a good 20, 30 minutes here really kicking ass. Now, I'm about to jump up to this platform and then realize I found an easier way to jump up. And I'm going to explain why. When you jump up this way, you got those little bunkers, those barrier walls there. Uh, you have to time them right. You have to double jump. If you go from behind, the entire wall is open. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I went both ways was, was to show, show that. Um, now, I don't think there's always going to be a chest up here. There's no guarantees, of course, in the game. Uh, but there is a chest up here this time. And you got to go all the way in and really make sure you look around. Down there, uh, good leveled enemies, quick little kills, good for grinding up on uh, to get back to the Dark Below DLC, chime in, people. Put it in the comments. Write to, to Destiny. We still got time for him to, to do something more and give us more. Are you really content with you know a handful of new arm? Are you really ha you know, happy with no new places to go? You know, just I, I really feel for twenty dollars that this is gonna feel really shit. Is one new raid? Is a whole raid really like all we we can be bought with? I want to go to new planets. There's a ghost right there, by the way, people. Uh, and there could be a chest up here on these ledges. Always good to look. Um, I want new cities. I want to go to San Francisco and London and Istanbul and Paris and Paris and uh, you know all these other places and not, not just on Earth on Mars. I don't want to have to get yearly DLC or, you know, some sort of, like, $60 just to get, like, a whole new... It's just such a winning formula, and I'm feeling like they might fall short. Um, maybe they'll just fuck up big time on the first two because they made them, they had them done before the game even was released, all said and done, but I think they should lower the price to $10. If you're only getting a raid, a strike, three crucible levels three story missions and a handful of gear I really think it should be a $9.99 DLC I think that for $20 we should be getting at least twice of all that we should get two raids, two strikes especially the strikes people the strike playlist, oh my god first DLC comes out $20, I get to add one new strike, strikes should be I understand raids a raid, but if they really want to make this game the next, the futuristic World of Warcraft and all that, they really have to make sure they don't fuck up because somebody else, Borderlands, Fallout, somebody else will pick up the, the you missed on this keynote. And there it goes. Poof. The uniqueness, the thunder, it's gone. Chime in, people, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Tumblr. Here on the YouTube, or of course on Twitch TV, I'm Star of the Samurai, your stellar Sherpa, the Seder host, the Digital Druid, the Great Sage, saying, This is Fort Knox, motherfuckers. Look at what I got. Watch me and listen to me. Make sure that you subscribe and view and give us your opinions and get us up on the YouTubes. Love you guys. See you later. <laughs>